hi guys i hope you all watched yesterday, yesterday's video yesterday myself and joan we did a cover of psalm 63 and that was my video yesterday so if you notice there was no video at night time because there was a video in the morning and that covered for yesterday and we did psalm 63 one of my all-time favorite sound but you know a lot of you have watched my video from the beginning you know my go-to uh, scripture is psalm 23 like that's not going to change but um psalm 63 really is a good scripture and if you listen to the song for me what i liked especially in the production when we were making the songs it was the emotions that came this with the song just you know just giving everything to god and i'm so happy i got to do that with joan because she has a, we, our vision is a bit different but for her she's so good at putting things to life like i have ideas in my head and she knows how to put those things together how to knit them together which is we work so well when it comes to music because of that because we actually go two complete different people but it's like we always use those differences to make something and it works and i'm so grateful for that so if you haven't watched it just check it yesterday's video yeah into today's uh today it's also john's birthday so you know keep it in your prayers she's a very hard work and one of the hard working team members we have here you all are watching the lives you all see all the you know bambinos all the youth programs she's the youth leader in a lot of online programs her head and her heart is everywhere in all of those like she has a hand in all of that and we are grateful for that and we pray for her, for god to just multiply everything you know he's given up and today another reason why today is so special to me today is the uh, first year of death anniversary for my grandmother so you know you know like today i, I had my moments where i was so emotional but it's not because you know someone is gone in, you know the scripture talks about when you mourn in it mourn with hope i wouldn't be still mourning after a year i think Oh, with my grandmother, I think I've made peace with her death way before that, before she even passed, because she prepared herself for that journey, and she wanted nothing. I remember one thing she told me was, Phyllis, I love you so much, but one thing you're not going to do is stand between me and heaven. I want to be with Abba Father. I worked hard my entire life so that I can be with Jesus. So don't do anything that will stop me from going. Because I was her weakness. I was, you know, her little baby. And so she was like, don't pull me back. Help me to reach my goal. And that is something that I embraced in her struggles, watching her going through cancer and slowly washing away. I had peace of mind of knowing that she wants to be with Abba Father. And that is our home that is where all we are going to be one day like scripture says we are all on a pilgrimage so i knew that this wasn't her home and also after living you know six more years without her husband it just wasn't the same as she being by herself so that's also something i learned to be make peace with but one thing i love about my grandparents especially my grandmother they they've told me the person i am today i know christ played a big part but the lord has put the right people in my life if you look from the transition for me from losing my parents being with my grandparents that was where the foundation of my faith really came from it was molded and strengthened within that and one thing the you know my grandmother did for me since i was young she taught me how to rely on christ no matter how easy, how difficult life is, especially in the times of struggle, she always used to make me med uh, meditate Psalm 23. 1. I think in my entire family, we cannot leave the house without singing. We sing it in Shona. It's more emotional when you sing it. But Psalm 23 is someone, everyone in my house, I know they can't live the day without. Because she has taught us that the Lord is our shepherd. There is nothing that we ever want. Without the Lord, you want nothing. <laughs> 